Yo, 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 what is going on, IK fam, BN, it's your boy, Mr. Kingdom Builder. We are back again for another Dope Sauce Infinity Kingdom video. Today, we are going to be talking about Dido, or Dido, whatever, however you want to say it. Her most used talk skills, as she is one of the newer released, along with her co-companion, Cyrus, at least until recently, Theodore got released, as many know. But we're going to take a look at her most used talk skills today. This was a challenge. Uh, again, as, as is such with newer immortals that have not been out for that long, not many people have really been able to pull and probably start working talk skills for them just because, again, it is another with Dito, right? It's another paywall after you unlock. Then you have to kind of farm from daily shop so it just keep in mind right this is we may do a a kind of later game version on this and this is probably going to be more of a preliminary most used talk skills because it is still pretty early but i wanted to at least make this because i think there is at least enough data to do so so again let's go ahead and do our unveil here as usual so you can see the servers i pulled from which is interesting because i had to go pretty deep um, I think we went almost to 36. You had to go all the way to S36, starting from S1, just to pull 45 people that had Dito at max star 7 to have that third skill unlocked. Um, and you could see, right, these are all the servers that are kind of running, that has someone that's maining water specifically using Dito. And it, it, it is interesting. Some servers, right, like S7, right, one person. Uh, but then you get to servers like S27, S28, Right, where they have, you know, five or six people uh, that, that are running it, right? S19, another example of that, has a few as well. So it, it's interesting to see some of the spread on some servers. And keep in mind, right, some servers are a little more active than others too as well um, in, in that regard. And that, I'm sure, is playing a factor for how many people are doing it in addition to the spenders there that are paying and obviously what they feel is appropriate for the ones that are, of course, maining water. But the data is interesting. So again, you know, you'll, you'll see some of the staples like energy suppression comes up uh, pretty often. Uh, Oaken Guard, I thought was interesting because that was one that did come up a couple times and a few others. But without further ado, let's go ahead and do our top five most used skills that we found from Dito. And then we'll do a comparison in-game and break down the top three skills on why they're being used with her and just talk a little bit about the uh, comp. Okay, number five. Most used skill for Dito is Rage Blessing, coming in at number nine. Then we have the number four skill is Sacrifice, coming in at, I shouldn't say number nine, at nine times most used, and then Sacrifice 11 times most used, right? So now we're getting into like 25% of our data pool using Sacrifice. Now, the number three most used skill for Dito is Oaken Guard, being used 12 times, a little more now than 25%. Now we'll get into the top two most used talk skills for Dito. Number two, <gasps> Oh, the bad reveal. Energy suppression is number one. And then number two, we'll do it opposite just because we misclicked. Death Breath is coming in at 12 times used. And then Energy Suppression being the number one most used skill for Dito at 15 times used, right? So again, we're getting into about a third, 33% usage there for Dito. Now let's go ahead and take it over to our in game. And let's see now. Going through, not the Dragon Cave, as this is the second time. Oh, actually, before we even do that, right, let's look at Dito. We'll show you her as well. And da, 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 da. okay, so Dito being water, backline bowman. Let's read the skill. Grants frost armor to all allies for nine seconds. Frost armor increases physical defense up to 600, or excuse me, I should say 600%, up to 2000% of the target's level. And has a 35% chance of inflicting chill on the attacker when receiving a normal attack, therefore reducing their attack speed by 6% up to 20%. So not only does she grant an armor very similar to Charles on Earth, who grants that uh, buff shield or shield absorb for himself and everyone, right? Dito kind of coming in as the second immortal that kind of does something similar to Charles, right? Granting the armor for all allies for 9 seconds and the frost armor increases physical defense of this and has a 35% chance of inflicting chill now keep in mind this is just increasing physical defense right it's not a a shield absorb like charles it isn't in a similar sense because it grants it to everyone but it's not an absorb 
like Charles, right? You're just increasing a base stat here, which is physical defense. And then again, has a 35% chance of inflicting chill on the attacker when receiving a normal attack, right? So when Dito gets attacked by someone, there's a 35% chance of inflicting chill and then reducing their attack speed by 6%, up to 20% for six seconds. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the talk skills here. So, like we said, number three, we'll start with Oaken Guard, which I have to remember where these ones are. Here we go. After the battle starts, reduces physical damage received by three random allied units by 15% for 18 seconds, right? So, we're getting this 15 up to 50%, right? And again, it's only for the first 18 seconds of the battle. Now, this is basically stacking with... And right, you're again, you're increasing physical defense, you're reducing the physical attack right now, right? So you're kind of hitting both ends of Dito's active skill and then what Oaken Guard is going to apply onto it, right? So this, uh, I, I, you know, I, again, I think this makes sense. I don't really see anything wrong with, with running Oaken Guard um, as far as kind of hitting both ends of what the stat can do as far as buffing it and then, of course, reducing damage uh, from it. Now we'll get to Death Breath which was the second, and this is the one that has the skull face, I have to remember. Here we go. Death Breath. Every six seconds causes physical damage. Damage rate is 22.5% up to 75% to all enemy units and magic magical damage. Damage rate is 22.5% up to 75%. So every six seconds is going to cause physical damage to all enemy units and magical damage once. Okay. So... With this now, right, you're getting the physical damage for everyone every six seconds and, and magical damage once. I'm assuming that means one time magical damage is going gonna, is gonna to hit one person out of the four randomly. Um, at least that's how it's reading. And again, I think just with the physical damage, this is just a kind of a good universal skill. Um, I, I think it's not or a universal uh, talk skill. I don't think it's something that necessarily buffs or gives Dito or right and like factors really heavily into her uh, in, into her skill i think when you look at right if you're reducing physical damage or physical damage resistance or something like that or, or a physical damage stat um, then or defense stat, i should say right then death breath can probably compound onto that and add a little more value but at least with this being the most used it just seems like this is just a good kind of universal skill and they're just adding it into slot for dito the next is going to be energy suppression is the most used skill and i gotta remember this is the one with the arrows facing down uh it's not that one did i just miss it i hope i didn't i know here we go arrows down uh slows the energy regen speed of all enemy troops by 15 percent for the first 12 seconds of battle this goes up to 50 percent that you're slowing down energy regeneration speed of all enemy troops right again <clears throat> this is one of those that isn't really specific to, you know, it's not something where, you know, uh, an immortal skill, you know, kind of affects that, with the exception of Hippolyta, right? Obviously, that would be one that you could maybe stack this on. But keep in mind, it, it applies to everyone. So for the, for the most part, it doesn't really matter who you put the skill on, right? This is just a good universal skill that, right, probably arguably should be used on one of your four immortals in your main lineup. So again, right, just kind of factors in. I think only one skill we've really seen, which is Oaken Guard, that I think is a little more specific to Dito um, outside of Death Breath and Energy Suppression, which are more universally factored. Um, again, that's my review and assessment for Dito. Uh, let me know what you guys think in those comments down below, right? Are you surprised by these top three most used talk skills? Um, do you feel that maybe there's better ones Dito can use? Do you run different skills depending on the situation, right? Let me know anything and everything in those comments down below. We are finally done with water. Hip, hip. Hooray, and we can move on to our next element. Now, these videos I'm hoping are going to be coming out a little bit faster now because I finally figured out how I can gather the data at least maybe 25 to 30 percent faster than I have been. So, I'm pretty excited to start putting that into good use. That is it for me, as always. I hope y'all enjoy, and we will catch my lords and my ladies out on the battlefield. Good day.